What's good, y'all? It's answer. We back with another one, man. We got Wack back on J Prince top. It's more about the offset thing, but the interesting part is Freddie's asking questions as though he's on slow gas, like he don't know what the violation was. So let's get into it. We'll break it down and comment after. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Let's go. Yeah, this offset talking about he want a problem with me in the street. What is you telling the world that for? That ain't how that go. If he's supposed to be that. If he's supposed to be that, you're not supposed to be doing that. He didn't say, uh, well, what? You're a He said, in the, uh, you talking about the, uh, what's the, Gilly in the, I didn't hear that. Go, go, go. You know what I heard? No, I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm being genuine. I'm being what I'm serious. Saying is, what, uh, what I heard him say was, what's the boy, uh, is it Miko Band? He said that no, Miko Band sat on that stage and went to the police and told everything. Listen, he that's great. The I don't condone none of that. But he also said- No, I get that, said, but I'm just trying to understand why said, you saying what you saying but he about also said, Jay Prince. Yeah, my son, yeah, he said my son gave, yeah, my son gave. What is wrong with you? I was sitting there looking at this, this supposed to be, see, I know this. I didn't stood in front of the Freddie. I'm talking you know, about the daddy, not the son. The, the daddy. The daddy. The daddy the, bro, listen, when was going on with the footage, I met the right in the alley, downtown LA, after Kanye West Sunday service. Rocky from Sleepers was right there on my mama. I said, homie, the lady, we ain't doing none of that with this lady. So what's up? Why? Listen, if you could just get me on the phone with her, while I'm letting you know the pressing ain't happening. I'm telling you, man to man, none of that extra fire is there. This, uh, social media, he can't call Bundy. You can't tell me about something I just stood in front of, Freddie. You no, can't, can't tell me I, about no, it, I homie. can't, I can't, I can't. That's why I'm just asking you because you saying like, he the feds. Hey, bro, call him the police. Time, let me tell you something, bro. No, I'm let asking you, you like, why would you call hey, him the police, though? I done got five calls from his own people. Hey, whack. we don't agree with what he just did. We just call him because we got a relationship. And I say, bro, don't call me about nothing, bro. If it's a problem with you because you stand with him, that's how I go. Been like that all my life. All this, what you just said, I just get off the phone. You know, we all know the same. Nah, whack. And said that. Ain't no street around here on the floor going to get on here and say, what the did wasn't a violation. Not a one. I dare one to. Based off the paperwork that he had, that he gave Gilly, and um, what's the other boy name? Anytime you mentioning what a they want to do to you, and don't nobody know this is going on, this ain't like y'all had a rumble or something, and, the, and you know, the world know. What is you doing, bro? Who you, you alarming? I mean... All right, real quick, before we get into the selective politicking, this next part you hear in regards to who may testify and all that has not been confirmed at all. I don't want y'all to get that mixed up or twisted. This is all conjecture and questions that are coming, maybe for the purpose of content, maybe for controversy. I don't know. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Don't say you heard it on the answer. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so what? So so what? So let me ask. You, yeah, it's selective politics in a bunch of it. You right about that part. But okay, so let me ask you this. You did. I hope you heard right. They did yesterday. I don't know what, if you know about this, right? But I'm gonna ask you. You know, Quavo is um gonna come out and testify to clear them uh DJ whatever the dude name is and say that they had nothing to do with that. I don't know what Quavo gonna do. They saying he finna testify to say that Look, it was self defense. Basically, Quavo, pretty much what they saying. Because I'm in Atlanta, they saying it's gonna be self defense. About to do now. What I will tell you is this: on that side, ain't said a word. Don't forget who my people are. Me and P are very close. But P, very what close. do you mean? I know P. I'm talking about QC. You talking about P from QC, right? Freddy, P, on, P, QC. And Quavo is basically saying they're on the Freddy, side of Jay Prince. Freddy, no, they're not. Freddie. Oh, well, I you telling me something man, new. I'm listening. I'm, li I'm listening. 
But they saying PQC and Quavo is on the same side and finna clear J Prince them just so you know in this city. He ain't got you know, he ain't got nothing to say about nothing. I talk to my brother every day. Like he talked to my kids two, three times a week. Like y'all just be on here running y'all mouth. You know what I'm saying? So why would Quavo stand on the side of J Prince? You seen that? Okay, I'm a, I'm a you hush. Seen I'm that? a hush. Apparently you don't know. Apparently you, you don't know. About his mouth? Whack, they're saying Quavo is been to testify. Did you to hear that come Jay out Prince. of Quavo mouth? No. There it is, y'all. I'm calling cat. This is the difference between journalism and content creation and clubhouse and that blurred line. We know everybody wants clicks and views. I, I get it. I want clicks and views, but I'm not compromising what's real with what's fake until it's confirmed. And if you saying it's an opinion, that's cool too. But don't be throwing that out there. That's just inflammatory, man. That man ain't never said that. And you know they ain't come out of that camp. But anyway, if y'all want to hear the full audio, the Clubhouse Daily News is back in effect. We warming it up. Head on over there if you want to hear more. I appreciate you tuning in. It's your boy Dell to answer. Till next time.